the language of probability. What words do we need to know in order to understand the concept of probability? First, we need to understand that probability is the chance an outcome has of happening. If I were to spin this coin, what are my chances that it would land on tails? Or what are my chances that it would land on heads? Since it has two sides, my chances are one out of two. That is probability, the chance an outcome has of happening. Some other words that we need to understand for probability. One word is the word likely. If you notice my spinner, it is divided into three equal parts and they are numbered number one, number two, and number three. It is very likely to spin an odd number on this spinner because we have two odd numbers. Number one and number three are odd numbers. So it is two, we have two out of three chances that we will spin an odd number. Therefore, it is likely that we will spin an odd number. On this spinner, it is certain that we will spin a whole number less than four because number one, two, and three are all whole numbers and they are all less than four. So our chances of spinning a whole number less than four are three out of three. So it is certain that we will spin a whole number less than four. It is impossible on this spinner to spin a number more than three. It is zero, we have zero possibility out of three chances of spinning a number more than three. There are no numbers more than three, so it is impossible to spin a number more than three. It is unlikely on this spinner that we will spin an even number. We have one even number, that is two, out of three numbers. So our chances are of spinning an even number are one out of three, which makes it unlikely that we will spin an even number. It is equally likely on this spinner to spin a one, a two, or a three. They are divided into equal parts, and so it is equally likely that we will spin either one, two, or three. Now let's take a moment and look at this dice. We know that a dice has numbers one through six on it. So let's talk a little bit about this dice and use our vocabulary to help us with the probability of the numbers one through six on this dice. If we roll this dice, it is very equally likely that we would roll a two or a three because there is one two and there is one three on this dice. So the chances of rolling a two or a three are equally likely. The probability of rolling a number less than one is impossible because there are no numbers on this dice less than one. The probability of rolling a number more than five is unlikely. There is one number let more than five, and that is the number six. So our chances are one out of six that we would roll a number more than five. So that means that it is unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely that we would roll a six or a number more than five. What is the probability of rolling a number less than six? The probability of rolling a number less than six is likely. We have five out of six chances that we will roll a number less than six. What is the probability of rolling a number between one and six? It is almost certain that we will roll a number one through six because all of the numbers on this dice are one through six. We have practiced using the language impossible, likely, unlikely, certain, and equally likely. Now it is your turn to try. I want you to look at the spinner. This spinner is divided into four equal parts and we're going to be looking at the colored spaces. We have a green, a red, a purple, and a blue. You are going to stop to pause the video and you're going to answer some questions that are on your activity sheet about the spinner. After you have filled in the blanks on your activity sheet, I would like for you then to return to the video to play and continue. We will check your work from that point. So you now may pause the video. Now let's check the work that you did. You were asked, what is the probability of spinning a purple? 
I hope that you know it is unlikely that you will spin a purple. Your chances are one out of four that you will spin a purple because there's one space that is purple. The rest are other colors out of four spaces. What is the probability of spinning a yellow? It is impossible on this spinner to spin a yellow. There are no yellow spaces on this spinner. What is the probability of spinning a red, a blue, a purple, or a green? It is equally likely that you will spin any of those colors because they are all, they all take up the same space. What is the probability of spinning a colored space on this spinner? It is certain that you will spin a colored space on this spinner. What is the probability of spinning a red, a blue, or a purple? It is equally likely that you will spin a red, a blue, or a purple because they take up the same amount of space and they are on there each one time. I hope you did great with that activity. I would like for you to now pause the video and look at the colored dots on this slide. You are going to write statements that would be true about the dots, the colored dots here. Let's take a moment and look at these before you write your statements. You will see that we have red, black, yellow, and green dots. We have two green dots. We have five yellow dots. We have six red dots. And we have six black dots. Now you will turn off the video and you will write statements that would be true about these colored dots using your vocabulary of impossible, likely, certain, and unlikely. You may start this video over if you need help remembering the meanings of those words. When you are finished, turn your work in and return your iPod to its place. I hope you have enjoyed learning about probability and the vocabulary that goes along with that skill.